Happy Day Commander. In this operation, we'll go over the unit classes, upgrades, equipment, experience, and heroes so you can learn how to turn an ordinary army into the fine-tuned instrument molded to fit your strategy in the best way possible. Let's get started. There are several already deployed units under your command, yet they are marked not with the green color and a round-shaped strength indicator, but with the yellow color and a hexagon-shaped strength indicator. These are non-core units. They are given to your army for the purpose of the current operation only. Finish your deployment by clicking with your left mouse button first on the unit and then on the designated deploy hex. Apart from your troops, this time you have a hefty amount of prestige. Prestige is the resource you spend to acquire new units and equipment. To open the Acquire Units tab, click on the Prestige button. In the left column, you can see the current list of your core units. At the bottom of the tab, you can see the list of available units. To filter available units by class, you can click on the corresponding filter button. At the top of the Acquire Units tab, you can find the information about the selected unit, including its combat parameters and skills. Select the Recon class among the filters. Now select the highlighted model and click on the Acquire button at the bottom. Next, select the Anti-Tank filter. Right now the Anti-Tank unit we need is already selected. Click on the Acquire button to add it to your core units. All units are available at the historically accurate periods. As you progress through the campaign, new units will become available. You can upgrade your troops to newer models. If both newer and older models are from one series, then the older unit cost will be deducted from the new unit cost. If they are not from the same series, then only 50% of the older unit cost will be deducted. The upgraded unit will retain all the experience gained before an upgrade. If the unit has an upgrade available, it is marked with the yellow arrow symbol. Let us see how this works in practice. Select the newly bought recon in the unit list. To upgrade it, select the Upgrade tab, then select Recon in the list of available upgrades. Now you can see the parameters of your unit. The increase or decrease in combat parameters after the upgrade is marked with green and red numbers. You can see the prestige cost of the upgrade at the bottom. Now click on the Upgrade button. You have to deploy the newly acquired units. Close the Upgrade tab. Deploy the anti-tank gun and recon in the designated hexes. Click on the end deploy button. There seems to be no enemy units yet. Click on the end turn button. The enemy troops are close. We have to destroy them. Select the artillery and attack the nearest infantry unit. Good. Now select the anti-tank unit and attack the enemy tank. The anti-tank gun has gained a new experience level. We will get back to it after the battle. But for now, select the self-propelled artillery and attack the second infantry unit. Now finish off the infantry with the tank. Only one enemy unit left. Send your recon unit to eliminate it. The enemy attack was repelled. Our recon unit spotted more enemy troops in the distance. You should make more thorough preparations for the enemy's main force's arrival and strengthen your troops with additional equipment. Open the unit info screen of the infantry. To do it, click on your unit with the middle mouse button, then click on the equipment tab. Equipment is all sorts of additional weaponry, devices, and personnel aimed at strengthening your troops, starting with machine guns and finishing with the field medics and sapper squads. Equipment can either get passive bonuses or require an activation with a limited number of uses. Select the mortar from the list of equipment. It is a good example of an equipment with passive bonuses. It extends the gun range by one, allowing the infantry to attack from afar. However, it is also heavy equipment. Units with this model of mortar cannot board air transport and cannot move without vehicles. Click on the Acquire button and close the Equipment tab. Now select the self-propelled artillery, open its unit info screen, and select one of the equipment slots. This is another way to open the equipment tab. On the list of available equipment, select the incendiary shells. 
the perfect firing at soft targets. Click on the acquire button and then close the tab. Note that there is now a new incendiary shells button on the unit actions panel in the bottom right corner of the screen. You can activate or deactivate incendiary shells by clicking on his button on the unit actions panel. Bear in mind that it's expendable equipment and you have to pay in prestige for every activation. You have not forgotten that your anti-tank unit got a new level, right? Open the unit info screen. Right above the unit picture there is an experience bar. As the unit deals damage to the enemy this bar fills up. The amount of experience the unit gains is equal to the damage dealt. Additionally, the unit gains 10 experience when it suffers losses or defeats an enemy unit. Recon units gain an additional 10 experience when they gather intelligence data. There are other class specific ways to get experience, which you can learn by hovering the mouse over the experience bar of any given class. When the unit gets enough experience for a new level, you can level it up manually. To do it, open the level up tab. In this tab you can see all skills available to this unit. Select the vulnerability skill and click on the level up button. Get back to the unit info screen and have a look at combat parameters. As you can see, all attack and defense values have increased by one. The more experienced the unit, the higher its combat effectiveness. You should also not forget about heroes, outstanding individuals who can make a big impact on your war effort. Heroes are unique historical personalities. Each of them can be assigned to serve in one of your units, providing them with additional selection of very impressive skills. There are different heroes for different unit classes. Some unit classes have a couple of heroes. In order to get a hero, one of your units has to fulfill the requirements. You can see the corresponding progress bar above the hero skills list. Select Fritz Christian from the list and click on the assign button. Assign a hero to a unit, all previously learned abilities of this unit are reset, and you can level it up again, taking into consideration new hero skills. Open up the level up tab. As you can see, the list of available skills has been expanded with hero skills. Select the devastating fire skill and click on the level up button. Close the tab and click on the intern button. Here comes the enemy main force. It seems their commander is in the tank unit. This is a perfect moment to try out the new shells. Keep in mind that every volley with expendable equipment costs you a little bit of prestige, so you should use it only when the necessity arises. Select the self-propelled artillery and click on the incendiary shells button. Then attack the designated enemy unit. The artillery dealt more damage. We have no time to waste. Select the tank and attack the enemy artillery. Recon unit must be feeling left out. Command it to attack the infantry unit. The enemy artillery is all but destroyed. Finish it off with the infantry armed with mortars. Perfect. Without the artillery support, enemy troops won't last long. Use your artillery to soften up the enemy infantry ranks. Select your infantry unit and attack the enemy infantry. The enemy commander is left alone, while you have an anti-tank unit at hand. Attack! One attack is good, but two is even better. Using the Devastating Fire ability, order a second attack to finish off the enemy tank. We have dealt with the enemy commander. Congratulations, the operation was a success. Click on the Finish Operation button to exit to the tutorial menu.